would be fun to take Rory to pick up my groceries from Kroger. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. She's a lunatic. You crazy, dog? Yeah, are you excited for the groceries? There's nothing for you. Not this time. You just lick in my car. Okay. It was cold, but I did it. And it's so worth it. It's not even at all. Whoops. <laughs> Let's fix this. Okay, pretend you didn't see that. No, oh, I did it. It's, it's so good. I just love Christmas lights. And then I went ahead and moved my little light up pigs inside. Our skinny tree. We can't put any presents around it. And actually, we have to pick up the skirt too because dogs. <laughs> so, not until Christmas. I love the way a fire looks, smells, sounds, everything about it, except, um, but I do use um, fake inserts ever since I had a house fire, which was not at all because of the fire in a fireplace, but still, eh, we just go with the fake ones. It has the desired effect. My other pig light up. It's probably really dark, but I love it. I love Christmas. I love Christmas lights. I'm doing something crazy. I'm going to attempt to take my pigs to see Santa. Right? I really want their picture with Santa. I'm also being really blinded right now. I have to um, say that after this morning, trying to get the girls and the one that has not been officially introduced, because I don't know if he's staying here or not, but getting them all dressed and fed, whatever else, getting their stroller all set up, packing their bag, everything. That's a lot of work. I don't know how people with kids do it. Are y'all ready for your adventure? You like the sunshine, huh? I've had a few people ask me about uh, this stroller. I just found it on Amazon. I'll link this specific one below, but they have a whole bunch of them and I love that I can fit multiple pigs in here. However, as I get bigger, it'll probably be a one pig size stroller. So if you have lots of them, I'm like, I'm probably gonna need to get a bigger one eventually. But it's worked great for me for years. Hi everyone. You're looking beautiful. Bree. Hi. I'm just napping. All right, let's get you loaded up. Let's go. Okay, loaded up and ready. Okay, we're here. We're here. It doesn't look too crowded, uh, which is great because I find that dogs uh, that aren't used to pigs are sometimes a little crazy around them. So it's another reason for the stroller. Uh, I never recommend walking your pig on a leash anywhere where you could encounter a dog. Um, I am doing this by myself. Normally I make my sister film for me when I go out in public because I'm super awkward about it. But I think this whole vlogmas thing is kind of helping me get over that. So hopefully I will do a good job and you will get to see these adorable babies with Santa. Uh, I just got a venti Starbucks coffee and I had them add two shots to it. And the girl was like, you know, that's six shots. And I was like, I have to take three pigs to meet Santa. <laughs> Give it to me. I'm gonna be excited. I'm gonna be so excited later. <laughs> so I'm limited or they would have a whole new wardrobe and this oh my god 
I have a problem. <laughs> have I mentioned that I have the best little pigs in the whole wide world? They were so good. They were so, so good. Everyone got to hold them and pet them and pass them around. And they didn't behave bad for Santa. And they're so good. And now they're just sleeping again. Okay, exciting. I don't want to take their outfits off. They look too cute. I don't want to take them off. This is um, one of those wine bottle sweaters that I picked up. See how perfect it is? I had to cut the arms off and make like a stitch down the middle, but it fits so perfect and it's so cozy. You girls are getting too big for your dresses. We need new ones. I've been outside painting that dog kennel still in the cold and um, I just realized I didn't look in a mirror at all and I was really afraid because there was some wind. You couldn't see my fingers. I was afraid that my face was gonna look like that too because I feel like I had spray paint blowing in my face, but at least on the camera, you can't see it, so that's good. Uh, still drinking my coffee. It's almost five o'clock, and this is all I've had, and not even very much of it. Like, there's still a lot left, so I'm doing a terrible job. I need to finish my coffee so that I can eat a meal. I don't know where today went. The pig thing didn't even take that long. I do have quite a few dogs staying with me right now. So that always, it's amazing how much time I can lose just like hanging out with dogs and cleaning up after dogs. So out buying um, the farm feed for anyone that thinks that they want to have a farm and all these animals, just FYI, their pellets alone for the pigs, chickens, peacocks, cows, horses, and alpaca that you don't know about, I would say it's about $400 a month. It's not including hay, which is also very expensive. And I guess to be fair, uh, I am currently caring for two elderly horses that have very expensive feed bills. Um, they're high maintenance. Just to keep weight on them and keep them looking good. That's a whole video I've considered making actually, but it's sounds like kind of a heartbreaking topic for me right now. One of them in particular, was not what I thought she just she was sold to me as younger and it turns out she's about a decade older than they told me and I will never be able to ride her and she has a lot of issues and I'm spending a lot of money just trying to maintain some some quality of life in her final years and the vet kind of feels like I should put it this is probably a whole I don't know uh, it, it's really depressing um, but sometimes that's the nature of I guess trying to rescue and save animals unfortunately so without her, it would probably be a lot less expensive, but uh, still, you, know, you figure there's just the rescue pigs I have probably eat several hundred pounds of food a month. Um, and this is not the dogs, the cats, or the small animals. They have their own several hundred dollar feed bill, I would estimate. So definitely um, consider your finances before <laughs> you uh, think about diving into a lifestyle like this because um, you know, it's totally worth it for me to give up things like, you know, expensive shopping sprees or great vacations at the moment or, you know, anything like that. But, but for some people that's, they would not be happy. Perhaps at some point I'll kind of try to total up how much all of them cost me in a month and how much food I have to buy in a month. But for now, just walked out with my weekly hundred, little over hundred dollar pet bill from the feed store. You know it's a lot of food when even the people at the feed store are like, whoa, you're really loaded down like, yeah, every week. Now, I'm checking Aldi again for those candles because I still haven't found more and every time I drive past it, I check. And then I'm going to the post office because I know I have at least a couple of things people have told me that they've sent me. So um, I might try to do a P.O. box opening closer to Christmas maybe. It'd be very huh? He's just being cuddly and silly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yep. Right back to my hair. The cage behind me is empty in case anyone was wondering because it's empty. I have to say I'm not going to complain too much about editing tonight because my little editing station is very cozy. 
you know, I have to do it. 